Live in five, four. Apparently I'm live now. So good morning everybody, welcome to Photo Joseph's Photo Moment, first live daily photo show on the YouTubes every weekday morning, 9.30 Pacific. I am, oh look, they're gonna clean the pool now. I am, uh, I am, I am at my hotel still, at the Thunderbird Hotel, which I gotta give a shout out to these guys again. Killer, killer motel, upscale motel, been totally re-renovated. It is awesome, you can see behind me the pool here is pretty slick and their rooms were like ridiculously cheap and there's no resort fee here, which means that a cheap room stays a cheap room. So again, big shout out to these guys. If you're going to be coming to Vegas, look them up, great location, love this spot. So I am obviously still in Vegas, still at NAB. I'm, well not at NAB, I'm not going to the show today. Like I said, I gotta go straight to the airport from here. And so today's show is gonna be a little short brief one, but it's very appropriately timed. It's just, this is kind of a product review, which I don't, I guess I kind of do these, right? But this is, um, this is nothing d directly to do with photography, but it's something that basically every photographer has. We all know everybody's got an iPhone or an Android phone right these days, right? I mean, most of us as photographers, we take a ton of pictures with them. Now this, this particular box is for the iPhone. I don't actually know, I was gonna look it up and I didn't get a chance to before to find out if they are uh, making these for the other platforms. I don't know, but this is for the 7 Plus. This is what we're gonna be talking about today. What is this, guys? So it is a battery pack for the 7 Plus. And I think they make it for the 7 as well. Now you might be thinking, it's the 7 Plus. For God's sakes, man, how much battery do you need? Uh, you'd be surprised. <laughs> I am a very, very heavy phone user. So I, in just a normal day, at home, at the studio, whatever, I almost always need to top off the battery. Usually it means uh, I'll do it in the car or I've got a dock on my desk. I might stick it on there for a little while. But it's a pretty rare day that I can go through the whole day and not have to top this thing up. And it's not because the battery isn't great in here. It, it's the longest lasting battery I've ever had in a phone, but it is uh, it's still not enough for my usage. I mean, I mean, I'm using the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and everything in there. Basically, if it has it, I'm using it pretty much all day long. So I know that at a trade show like this, there's no way I'm getting through a day. And I have this huge battery brick that I'll take with me that I can recharge, I forget how many milliamps it is, but I can recharge my phone probably two or three times from it. Uh, so it's awesome, but it's, it's big and it's heavy. And I wanted just something a bit more svelte and as a case. And so that's what this is. Oh, if you're wondering why this is here, I probably should get this out of the shot. I know it's shiny. I was thinking, you know, I could do like this to, you know, keep the shine off my head, but I figured I'm not actually Johnny Depp, so I probably shouldn't do that. Anyway, so this is a case and a battery. So it's one of these where you just, you slide it in, and I know this, there's no close-up shot here, but you slide it in, pull the cover over the top, and that's it. Now it's got a nice little rubberized case on it as well, and you can see it has gotten considerably thicker there. It's got a, that's a pretty hefty battery on there. It is a, a 4,000 milliamp battery that's in there. The iPhone 7 Plus has, I think it's a 2,700 milliamp. So in theory, you can recharge your phone completely once and maybe a third times or whatever the hell the math works out to be. So that's cool, all right, so we got that much. So now how does the thing actually work? Well, there is a lightning port and this is an Apple MFI made for iPhone lightning port on there. So you know you're not gonna get any errors saying, oh, your device is not supported. Which ironically, I get that error with my iPad keyboard that's made by Apple. Anyway, so you plug this thing in, now you don't, it doesn't use the battery from here to power the phone. It uses the battery from here to charge the phone. So what I did was I'd spend the first part of the day, just left this in my backpack. So I was carrying a backpack. And I'd have this on me like I normally would. Um, and then when the battery got low on here, I would get this guy out, slide it in, pop that guy into there. And then there's a power button on the back. You hold that down for a couple of seconds. And once it's on here, oops, let's do this. You should be able to hear it. Do you hear the the plug-in sound, like as if you plugged it into charge, it's now charging, and the iPhone, you know, it says it's charging and so on. There's a little battery status light on the back, which clearly you're not gonna be able to see, but it went, I don't think it comes on, I don't think it, when well, it comes, yeah, it does come on when you're, when you're using it, it also comes on when you're charging. Gives you an idea of how much battery is in there, and when you are charging it, then you'll see that progress there. So let's talk about charging, because this is really interesting. The plug on the bottom of here isn't lightning, it's USB. It comes with a standard USB, I don't know what the hell that is. It's not USB-C, it's the standard old, uh, whatever, USB. So it comes with this type of cable. And at first I thought, well, that sucks because that's a, yet another cable I have to carry because I don't normally carry one of these. But then I realized I would normally, I would be carrying one anyway for the iPhone because I have one for the iPad and for the iPhone and want to be able to charge both at night. So, okay, so I just brought this one instead. And you can plug this in pl with the phone in, so like it is now, plug it into the wall or your computer, or if your hotel has USB ports in the wall, plug into there to charge. 
and it charges, it's passed through charging, it charges the phone first, and then it charges the case. And I thought that was really cool. And I guess this is probably how it's always been done. I'm just, that's my first battery case, so I thought it was really kind of slick and cool. And so, yeah, so that way at night, if in the morning it's not charged all the way through, I know that the phone is, which I have to say, this whole thing, this, it charged a bit on the slow side. Now I was just plugging into this, I could of course get the bigger iPhone size brick and that would charge the whole thing faster. But on some of the not as long nights as I would have liked to have been asleep here, I did wake up in the morning to find this wasn't fully charged. And there's no number indicator, it's just this light on the back that kind of pulses and progresses. So it's kind of hard to tell if it's, you know, is it 80%, 90%. But with that said, even so yesterday morning, I woke up when I left, this thing wasn't fully charged, but I was able to hit the day, started with my phone at 100%, phone got low, recharged it back up to 100% with this, and by then I think this thing was just about dead, so it probably hadn't quite gotten there. So it, if you're gonna travel with this, I would probably recommend using a bigger brick than this guy. I think that would just be, I think that would be a good idea. All right, let's see what's going on here in the chat room. So this is, what's the speed of charging your iPhone or speed of charging the case itself? One amp or two and a half amp? I don't know, does it say that? Well, that would be what this is, right? Good Lord. I mean, what is this thing? This is, Jesus, can't really see anything on here. Seriously, Apple, does it have to be microscopic? Okay, this is a one amp charger, but I'm quite sure that I can plug in the bigger charger. Maybe you should read the specs. I don't know, might tell you not to do that. But I mean, I charge my iPhone with a big iPhone charger every once in a while when I need it to charge up fast, fast. But I don't see any reason you couldn't do that for here. If you couldn't, then that would kind of suck. And so anyway, the case, once it's in there and you're working this way, obviously it's bigger, obviously it's heavier. It does have a, a nice grip to it though, I will give it that. Uh, I'm used to using the iPhone naked, so it could be a little slippery, but I just prefer it that way. But this is a nice, it feels good and solid. It's big, there's, you know, look at the size of this thing in my hand, it's obviously huge. This is interesting, it's got these little speaker channels, because you know, there's stereo speakers on the bottom of this phone. It's these little channels here that stick the sound out, and it actually kind of amplifies it a little bit. Watching, you know, movie or talking on FaceTime or whatever, uh, the sound is really good. So that's, that's a nice little bonus, I like that. I do find the buttons to adjust the volume or the power lock a little bit finicky, because it's not a button, it's just a big thick rubber thing you're pushing through, but that's, that's fine. The mute switch is here accessible. It's recessed, so it's harder to get to, which means it's harder to bump. I don't know about you, but I'm always bumping mine one way or the other. And then of course the camera's accessible in the back. And hey, look, when you put it down, it doesn't wobble anymore because it doesn't have the camera sticking out the bottom. That's it, I like it. Neck tech, who comes up with these names? When I was researching these, there were three that I was looking at on Amazon. I don't remember the other three. This one had the highest reviews. It was also the heaviest one, which really made me go, oh, do I want the lighter weight one for the same battery power? But it had better reviews than the others, so I decided to go for this one, and I'm glad I did. I think it's a nice unit. I think it worked out well. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the little shows that we did here from Vegas. I'll be back in the studio tomorrow for Photo Moment. Tomorrow's Photo Moment is going to be answering a question that came up a few times because of yesterday's interview, how I mic'd up uh, Griffin Hammond and myself. And then I did the same thing for that little two minute blast with, uh, with Sadiv, the whole thing we're talking about, his camera, which by the way, or his store, if you are trying to buy a GH5 and you can't find them in stock, look at the video, we'll link to it right here. Look at this video, I'm telling you in the video where you can buy them today, a person, a guy, a store in Los Angeles area who has them in stock and will ship it to you anywhere in the US. If you're outside of the US, sorry, they can't ship internationally but uh, you can get the camera, you can get the XLR1, a bunch of lenses, and they even have vlog, and they will take a picture of the vlog serial number and send it to you, so that you can email it to you, so that you can get your vlog installed immediately, you don't have to wait for it to arrive in the mail. And they'll, they'll mail it to you too, obviously, as well. But, uh, but that's that, so check out that video. If you're trying to get a GH5 or vlog upgrade, go to that video and, uh, and check that out, you'll learn where to get it. That's it, folks, I am getting out of here. Take care of yourselves, we'll see you next time, bye-bye.